Aiklik with Rajan Datar. Today, how making music changes lives with the Afrobeat pioneer and drumming legend Tony Allen, who learned his craft in the nightclubs of Lagos. Plus the percussionists who pound on giant Japanese drums and the mute team who became a rapper. That's in an hour. The newsroom is next on the BBC World Service, the world's radio station. Welcome to the newsroom from the BBC World Service. There's been a huge leak of poisonous gas at a plant in India. Paramedics have taken hundreds of people to hospital. At least 13 people have died. We get the latest. Also today at 10 hours GMT with me, Nick Miles. After a record daily coronavirus death toll in Brazil, there's growing criticism of President Bolsonaro. He tells people to go to work, then people die. And then he'll just say, another one died. Well, it's not my son. What he should say is, stay at home. Later, how the pandemic's adding to the troubles of people trying to feed themselves in Lebanon. We look at Seoul's coronavirus diplomacy as it provides a million masks to foreign veterans of the Korean War. And we hear from Liberia's COVID-19 ambassadors. This thing is real. Even if you don't believe it, observe the social distancing and you can be saving your loved ones. This is the BBC. Hello, this is Danielle Yawazetska with the BBC News. A massive gas leak at a chemical plant in India has killed at least 13 people. 800 more were taken to hospital in the port city of Visakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. The polystyrene factory, owned by the South Korean conglomerate LG, was being reopened after the coronavirus lockdown. The company says the leak is now under control. From Mumbai, here's Yogita Limai. The leak has been traced to a chemical 